so beautiful. <laughs> I'm on my lunch break. It's actually so easy to make. as a busy college student. Today I'm filming another what I eat in a week. I did one of these during the school year and I love doing it. I feel like it's a great way for me to share recipes that I've been trying out, just like nutrition tips that I've been following. It is Monday morning at about 7.43 and I've yet to make breakfast. Lately I've been really gravitating towards like a protein filled breakfast because if I have a smoothie or something or just like oatmeal with no type of protein in it, I have a huge carb crash around 3 or 2 p.m. I don't really have that much time. I'm kind of running late, so I think I'm just gonna whip up some scrambled eggs with an avocado. So, yeah, here we go. Alright, I am on my lunch break. I usually will run home for my hour-long lunch break from 12 to 1 just because I like to get out of the office, come home, heat stuff up if I want to heat stuff up. I was hoping to make lunch today. I usually like to make like a big batch of something to eat for lunch at the beginning of the week and then I'll have like a few days of that. But yesterday I was just very busy and didn't have time to do it. So today I did something very simple. It's just plain Greek yogurt, some granola. It's like almond butter and almond granola from Trader Joe's with strawberries and and peanut butter. Also look at my cute little press pass from the event I was just covering. All right guys, I'm home now. <laughs> Leah's staring at me. <laughs> Do you wanna be in it? Sure. Let me show them. It actually looks really good and it smells good. It's chicken, is, or is it pork? It's pork. Pork sandwiches. It is Anthony Bourdain. Love him. Her fave person. She did a project on him this year and she had to vlog for it actually. It was horrible. <laughs> she did a great job. It was heinous. Yeah, it's around five, so I'm gonna start making dinner. I was planning on making this chicken dish, but then I realized I don't have half the ingredients. So instead, we're gonna be making this like spicy salmon teriyaki bowl that I found on my Instagram reels. <laughs> went to the gym and got in my workouts. Also, let's just say hello to my new little friend on my chin. It's about 10.30. I have the morning off from work today, which is really nice. So I like had a really nice workout. I did the Peloton and then some weights afterwards, but I was sweating. I like wiped myself down with the towel, but I was sweating so hard. So I kind of want to have something cold for breakfast this morning. That just sounds really good. So I'm probably going to make a 
little smoothie bowl. Also, I forgot to mention, I drink like two of these huge water bottles a day. I think this is a liter. I'll correct myself on the screen if I'm wrong, but my dad got this for me in my stocking this past Christmas. It's from Five Below, and I don't know if you can tell, there's like lemon seeds at the bottom. That probably looks really gross, but I like to squeeze in a little bit of lemon sometimes. It just tastes really good, and it helps with like digestion and all that good stuff. <laughs> butter granola on top the same one I had yesterday with my yogurt and then some slivered almonds over there just because I wanted more protein and then I also did peanut butter like I said yesterday I have to have a lot of protein in my breakfast or else I'm just so tired around like 2 or 3 p.m. and I have a carb crash even though this is a smoothie bowl I wanted to get in as much protein as I can I would have added protein powder if I had any I only have like chocolate protein powder and that just didn't go with the mango and the spinach but if I had like vanilla or something probably would have added that in too all right guys I just stopped at Starbucks because they're having a sale today and every Tuesday of July where all cold drinks are 50% off so this was like three dollars which is amazing I got an iced mocha in the venti size with oat milk and then two shots instead of I think there was four originally that comes in the venti and then three pumps of mocha instead of six and no whipped cream and it's so good it tastes like a really well done hot chocolate like it's very chocolatey but it's also bitter i can taste the coffee still and it's not too sweet so highly recommend this also look at my cute little hat that i just got it says luck is believing you're lucky i've been wanting a trucker hat for a while but i'm not really used to myself in hats i feel like i'm just not really a hat girl because my head is really big <laughs> i'm gonna run to the grocery store snore i'm gonna run to the grocery store i need to get a couple things for dinner tonight and i don't have work until one it's like 11 right now so looks so beautiful i'm gonna link the recipe i followed down below but tonight for dinner i made some yellow quinoa with chicken broccoli kale chickpeas and this lemon honey tahini sauce the recipe originally only called for broccoli for the vegetables but i was in the mood to have more greens and more fiber so i picked up some kale from the grocery store earlier and like steamed that in a pan i'm gonna do a little taste test on camera i'm so excited Wow, there's no words. It's so good. All right, I'm on my lunch break and I just heated up my leftovers from the beginning of the week. It's the salmon with the rice and avocado. When I put on the everything but the bagel seasoning last time, it was really good, but it had like a lot of salt for the seasoning and the teriyaki sauce for the salmon. So I just did no seasoning this time. But, oh, and Bean wants my food because it smells like fish. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to sit down for a sec and talk to you guys. A little bit about just my eating in general nutrition in general i feel like every time i film one of these videos i just like to chat a bit about maintaining a balanced lifestyle and not getting too restrictive with things these types of videos can be perceived in a certain way you know a lot of people watch what i eat in a day so that they can follow what that person is eating and copy their diet so that they can get certain results but that's not why i'm posting this video at all i'm posting this video because I like to watch them and I like to get recipe ideas from them and I think it's cool to just see what works for other people and not necessarily copy what the other person is doing. I've said this like a million times on my channel but 
but everyone is different. Everyone has different health needs and different health goals. I've gone through so many phases with my health journey. That's why it's called a journey. I've gone through phases where I didn't eat meat at all. I was vegetarian for over a year. I started eating meat again at the beginning of this year, back in January. So I've been eating meat again for the past six months and that's done a lot of good for me. I explained why I started eating meat again in a different video, but just to re-emphasize why I just was not getting enough protein and living a busy lifestyle as a college student, I didn't have the time to dedicate to tracking how much protein I was getting from plant-based proteins and things like that. And also, I feel like because I couldn't eat meat, my diet had some form of restriction to it. I just wanted to be able to eat what I wanted and not have specific rules for me to follow. You know, I still go through phases where I will be mindful of things. So for example, right now I'm trying to be mindful of eating less processed starches and less processed carbs. A couple weeks ago, I bought like a bunch of processed carbs like pasta and bread from the grocery store and I had like so much pasta and bread that whole week. Like my stomach hurt really bad that whole week. I don't know if it's because I have a slight gluten intolerance or if I was just eating too much bread and stuff like that. But yeah, I just felt really uncomfortably bloated and my body was not responding well to having that much pasta and bread. So I cut back on that and I felt a lot better. This week I've been trying to have more protein and more healthy fat and I think you guys have been able to notice that. You know, it's okay to have specific goals for your diet and what you're eating. It's okay to want to maybe eat more fruits and vegetables and eat less processed foods and to have goals, but you also want to be mindful and not restrict yourself too far. There are weeks when I eat a bunch of processed food and a bunch of fast food and I'm fine with that and then there are weeks where I only want to drink green juices and I only want to eat fruits and vegetables and I think that's just part of being human. Being healthy is a journey of being mindful of what you're doing to take care of yourself. Being healthy doesn't mean following a list of specific rules. So yeah, that was my little chat. I'm gonna eat this now because I'm starving. I did not eat a big enough breakfast today. My appetite was so big but I didn't have time to make that much food. Those eggs did not fill me up at all. My stomach was growling for the past hour, so I'm very excited to eat this. Alright, good morning y'all. I look rough right now because I just went to the gym, but I made my breakfast for today. It is chia pudding. This is actually so easy to make. Last night I just combined a, a tablespoon of chia seeds with a fourth a cup of almond milk. And I think I did like four servings, so four tablespoons of chia seeds, four or like a full cup of almond milk. And then on top, I just put some slivered almonds, strawberries, and some peanut butter. I did not mean to put this much peanut butter on there, but honestly, it's probably for the best because I don't know when I'm eating lunch today. We're doing, can you hear Bean <laughs> crying in Claire's room? I think she's getting ready, so she's not allowed to be out in the living room yet, but yeah, if you hear a cat yelling, that's why. Our shoot today is outside, and I don't know if we have like a full lunch break because I'm helping another girl with her shoe and then right after that I have two interviews that I need to do so I need like a big filling breakfast today and this is definitely gonna do it. I love chia pudding. For some reason I don't make it that often but when I do have it, I'm a big fan. Okay, so I lied. I did get a lunch break. It's actually longer than my usual lunch break. It's like an hour and a half and I usually only get an hour. I made some yogurt. Doesn't really look that appetizing, but it tastes really good. It's the non-fat, plain Greek yogurt from Trader Joe's with, oh, hi, Bean. <laughs> she loves like coming near me every time I'm vlogging. I think she's destined to be a YouTuber. And then I put the almond butter granola from Trader Joe's on top with peanut butter and a banana, and it tastes really good. I've been trying to eat a lot more yogurt recently because like a couple weeks ago, I was on an antibiotic. And if you don't know, antibiotics flush out all the bacteria in your body, the good and the bad. And so there's a lot of healthy bacteria that lives in your gut that just helps with digestion. And my body just doesn't have any of that bacteria anymore because I took that antibiotic. I definitely have been noticing that with my digestion. Things are just not moving smoothly. So I've been trying to get more probiotics in my diet and Greek yogurt has probiotics, so. Okay, I just made breakfast. It's oatmeal. If you're an OG subscriber, you know how much I love oatmeal. I have this all the time. I used the rolled oats from Trader Joe's and then mixed in some cocoa powder with the oats, added a banana, and 
some peanut butter. All right, I actually picked up a little bakery item from Starbucks on my way to work. I left my apartment and then I had this huge strike of hunger and I was like, I don't really wanna make anything. I just kinda wanna get something out. And I actually had like a redeemable points thing at Starbucks and I got a free bakery item. But it's just like a cinnamon coffee cake. It looks like this. I just spilled crumbs everywhere. Yeah, it doesn't look that good, but I love coffee cake, so I'm enjoying it. I'm definitely gonna have a sugar crash later, but went to Duncan. I got a medium cold brew with two butter pecan and one cream. I did a review on my TikTok if you want to go check it out. I re-downloaded TikTok like a month ago after being off of it for a year and I've been doing little like coffee reviews on there. I've honestly had a lot of fun with it but yeah I'm driving to visit my boyfriend this weekend so I like grabbed a quick snack. I had like very limited time to grab food when I went home really quick in between work and getting on the road. So I grabbed like this bag of pretzels and I'm gonna snack on them and I'm getting a bit tired. I have like a two hour long drive. So I got this coffee, very happy about it. I'm probably not gonna like talk for the rest of this video. I'll probably show you what I eat for dinner tonight, but I don't wanna like fully vlog just cause I wanna enjoy my time with Jay. So I'll do the closing here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love each and every one of you so much. Thank you for making it till the end and watching all the way through. I hope you have an amazing day or night wherever you are and I'll see you soon.